Come here. Hello, dog. Good morning. Morning. Love you. Love Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Howdy doody. Mm -mm. No, our coffee mugs don't fit in here. I think only little water bottles yeah. do. <laughs> These new goofy chairs. Man, oh man. <clears throat> so can we start out, not with that, but with yeah. saying where we are and how we got here and just real quick updates? Sure. Okay. Go for it. All right. So we're here. All right, now let's go to the book. Here we are. <laughs> We're here. We keep trekking north. We got held up in Tonopah in central Nevada due to strong winds, rain, and a little bit of snow. Barely. <clears throat> Barely. But it did get cold. We were glad we were plugged in at an RV park. We could yeah. use our little space heaters and keep everything nice and toasty. Yeah. Um, and we just keep trekking north. Now we're in... Yarrington, Nevada. Getting We're at closer. Our, our favorite boondocking spot here at the drive-in theater. Yep. Yep, yep. And I just want to say we make a great team together. We really do. We're yep. a great couple. We make a great team. I asked her yesterday, I said, how come you married me? Seriously. She looks at me with that grin, <laughs> I won't call it what kind of grin, but with that grin and says, because you're funny. And I'm like, I thought it was because I was so good in the boudoir. Oh my God. And she goes, see, you're hilarious. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. All right. On with the show! So those of you that are still with us, <laughs> <laughs> after that, oh, alrighty then. <clears throat> Puts a big smile on my face. <laughs> yep, you are funny. You are very funny. Okay, so let's see, what did we do last Saturday besides... Are you flushed now? <laughs> I think we both worked last Saturday after after uh, Who our knows? Chat. But you put up some Easter decor. Oh, look, a helicopter is going to fly right over us. <laughs> Close enough. Can you hear it? Oh, my gosh. But you put up Easter decor. Yep, just a little bit. Really, it's kind of springish more than Easter. -ish. Yeah. We're not real big Easter people. We don't have little kids anymore. No. We're not religious, so it's just a, a spring day. So I just put up some little things. The only thing about Easter festive. is I can hide my own eggs. But you never find them until it never find them. Start stinking. So we did that. We just kind of relaxed. Yeah. With the weather being nasty, we just kind of chilled inside. Mm -hmm. Um. Sunday we worked too, and we stayed in because the wind was so bad, and. Um, it, we didn't sleep very well. The wind was just shaking us so much. It was crazy. Uh, yeah. Oh, now I hear geese. Now I hear <laughs> geese flying over. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, Monday we went to go get propane. Yep. And we go to the same little propane place in um, Tonopah that we always go to. It was up $2 a gallon in just, what, a couple months. Yeah. Well, four months, actually. Yeah, four months it raised $2 a gallon. But... It's a local company in Tonopah, and we decided just to go ahead and spend our money there. So, probably could have got it cheaper elsewhere. Maybe. There's a bunch of places we don't know. But, Maybe. Uh, but they're usually the best they, price. They she even do. told you that they're not even making anything off yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, you know, that day was just rain and sleet and wind. I think that's the day that we had the little teeny tiny bit. If you stared really hard, you could see little snow. Doesn't matter. How hard I saw snow. And I worked on making a card for someone. And uh, and then Tuesday we just did some cleaning because we had full hookup. So we were like getting everything cleaned. Mm -hmm. Worked a little bit. A little bit more wind. A little bit more rain. Mm -hmm. I worked on a little bit more crafts. We just kind of rested. And uh, you're... And your uh, quote 
has been since we've been coming north. Stupid Nevada weather. Stupid Nevada weather. Stupid Nevada wind. When we're in Arizona. <laughs> stupid Arizona weather. Stupid Arizona wind. <laughs> I, I don't know where he feels that the weather isn't stupid. I just don't know if we found a place yet. Wherever we are, and it's 75. <laughs> and sunny. And not windy. And it could be in stupid Arizona weather time or <laughs> the other. Oh, oh man. So Wednesday we had travel day. Mm -hmm. We left, um, well that was, let's see here. I have the wrong thing. Yeah, Hawthorne. <laughs> That's right. We went to Hawthorne. We went to Hawthorne. I'm like, we were in trap. We were in Tonopah. I'm like, how did I do that? And Wednesday was a special day. It was. Happy birthday today! Our endeavors, Dave had a birthday. So if you forgot to t or didn't even know to tell him happy birthday, it was Wednesday. Head over to his uh, YouTube channel Our and endeavor. just start splattering happy birthdays all happy over the birthday, place. Happy birthday, Dave! <laughs> happy birthday! So we went from Tonopah to Hawthorne mm -hmm. and stayed at another RV park because it was still going to be pretty chilly. Chilly and windy. And um, we were going to stay there two nights. If we were only going to stay one night, we probably just would have toughed it out at yeah. the Chevron. Would have just boondocked on a lot. Yeah, we've stayed there before, but um, we like Whiskey Flats. Yep. Um, it was funny when Tom called to uh, make a reservation. He, uh, The guy says, oh, you've been here before. You've been here before. You're almost a regular. Just yeah. come on in. <laughs> yep. Because when we're going down there, it's getting cold. And when we come back up, it still could be cold. And uh, we like to have the, he likes to have the heat. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm going to have some Tom and Lori RV shorts. Sh shorts. <laughs> <laughs> shirts it. made. It's just going to say on the front, there it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like we were going to do a shirt. For a friend we have that always says, deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> Which I never did do. But. No, we could do those now anyway. We could. could. Deal with it. Deal with there it. There it is. There it is. <laughs> That's right. Thursday, our second day at um, in Hawthorne, we really didn't do too much. Just, you were working on videos, and I yep. sat there and did the diamond painting. Mm -hmm. So, which is probably what I'm going to do today instead of dragging anything out because we yep. travel tomorrow. Yep. And um, that way it's quick and easy. It's just in a little tray. Maybe we'll do some video on yeah. that today. Okay. So, and uh oh. Uh -oh. There's yes. always an uh oh, isn't there? There's always something going on. And you know, again, it's I like say it's part of full time living in an RV. You're going down the road. It's an earthquake every time you pull this thing down the road or you drive your class C or class A or your B down the road. It's an earthquake inside that thing. So things happen, things break, things yeah. come loose. And things get old, not, not you. I'm pointing to the trailer. There it is. <laughs> things get old and, and start I learned breaking to down. Deal with it. <laughs> they start breaking down like knees. I mean, uh, yeah. like, Water heater. <clears throat> water heater. Our water heater is leaking. And it's not coming out of the pressure relief valve. It's not coming out of the front. It is underneath. So it's either one, the tank, two, the fitting of the cold water inlet or the hot water outlet coming out of that tank. One of the two. I'm fingers crossed it is one of those fittings. And all I got to do is. Tighten the fitting or snip it, Replace re, it. Re, redo it. But we're gonna, I'm gonna wait until we get to Reno and yeah. probably tomorrow afternoon or Monday. But it's it's a steady drip. It's not a stream, not even close to a stream. It's, it's just not gushing. It's a steady drip. drip. You know, drip. it drip, 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 drip. But it is coming out of the, the back end, so. I'll have, yep. to, I'll have to find the trap door underneath because ours is different than a, a lot of them That's that I've heard them, about. Yeah. You cannot access our water heater from inside the rig. Now you have you've to, been watching a lot of YouTube videos and they all seem to be inside. There's like a door, an access panel inside the rig, not, not us. Ours is underneath. Our Everything's underneath. Our air conditioner is underneath. We don't have rooftop air conditioners on this thing because it's a, an alpha and they did it differently. 
So I'm hoping there's an access panel that we can get to from under the rig. Lori came up with an idea. She thinks it might be in the recessed area where the spare tire sits. Mm -hmm. So we'll drop the spare tire down and hopefully there's a, a, a panel in there that we can access to get to the back end of the hot water. Yeah. Or the water heater. Yesterday was Friday and I tried to contact our buddy Conrad. Oh my gosh, at Conrad, Leisure Coach Works. How dare you take time off? It's a work day. We needed you. <laughs> you weren't there on a Friday? Pashaw. <laughs> I'm we sure appreciate will, Conrad. I'm sure he will contact us on Monday morning. We appreciate him very much. As soon as he gets back. He's awesome. Um, Everybody yeah. at Leisure is awesome. Yes. He's, he's awesome. He's at Leisure Coach Works, yes. Yeah. So we were he was taking a leisure day. He was. He was being leisurely. <laughs> Hopefully that's what it was. Hopefully it was a fun thing and not something not yes. fun. Yes, yes. So um, we just wanted to give him a hard time. Um, so we called him just to see if he had any ideas or if he could run over and ask somebody. We were just asking... Um, about how to access it without having to take it totally out. I mean, you gotta well, be able to disconnect the water things before you pull it out anyway. Yeah. So, um, there's gotta be a way. We just can't find it. And then we um, haven't looked yet. Exactly. I looked, we I looked, didn't pull down the. I looked under the rig. I didn't pull down the uh, spare tire and look up in that area. But I think that might be where it is. Yep, probably because so. it doesn't look like it's directly below it. It makes sense. And besides, we've all seen the video. Lori is always right. Not always. One percent of the time, I'm not. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh God. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yep, I'm making him a shirt that says that. Um, oh gosh. So yesterday was a quick and easy travel day. Yeah, we Just only traveled like 50, 50, seven, 57, 57 miles. miles. Now that's a travel day. That's how we like to travel. I know a lot of people like to get in their rigs and go for six, seven, eight hours and put some miles under them. We like to go for 90 minutes to an hour and, <laughs> or, two or two hours, hours and, <laughs> and put less than 100 miles on it. Yeah, we get there, we chill, we got a relaxing afternoon, we get there by lunchtime. Yeah. Kaylee isn't belly aching at us. Yep. Or she didn't even have a chance to meow at us because we were here already. Yep. And um, and then we, uh, when we, as soon as we got here, we checked our batteries, which is a good thing that we did. They were a little low on water, and I, you know, with my knee, I haven't been climbing up on the roof. Doing as much maintenance. As, as much maintenance and as much looking around as I normally do. They were low, so we refilled all the... Cells. Cells with... Uh, distilled water. Distilled water. See, I need this. <laughs> <laughs> you notice how he looks at me, um, um. What's the next word? <laughs> Now you've been together a long time when <laughs> one can finish what the other one starts there you go <laughs> there you go there, there you go is. there it is <laughs> deal with it, deal with it. <laughs> oh jeepers so we like those kind of days plus we are doing shorter days because of your legs so yeah. you can get in get settled get your knee up get some ice on it yeah so just one more travel day tomorrow and um, once we get to Reno, get set up and get configured, I do have a, a doctor appointment scheduled, but it's not until like the third week of April, but at least we'll be able to get in there and uh, hopefully get a direction to go. I doubt we'll have answers, but we'll at least have a direction of where we need to go with this thing. Yeah, it'll probably be a couple more appointments before you get any kind of answers. That's what I'm thinking. Even though you've been twice regarding the knee, and yep. the same thing happened then, this is going to be with a totally new person. Yep, again. So, of course, they're going to want to do the x-rays and do the this. And, and I'm thinking that. we're going to print out and take with us everything from the Yuma Regional Medical Center, take it to this doctor and say, here's all the legal paperwork that we had done can they use that and yeah. move forward from there? Because it hasn't been that long ago, so they should be able to use the x-rays as... That'd be nice if they could. Instead of doing it again. Instead of starting but. all over again from square one. We'll see. Yep. But anyway, we're going to enjoy it. It's supposed to be another nice day today. It was beautiful yesterday. It was in the yeah, 60s for highs. Today it's supposed to be like 66, I think. That's okay. A little, a little chilly. Well, the breeze is chilly. If there was no breeze, it'd be just perfect. Yeah, and right now it's perfect because yeah. there's just a hint of just a breeze. Just a teeny tiny bit. But I mean, I'm not even wearing my earplugs. Man, right this now, is so. this is great. And we put up a, a quick little Instagram video yesterday about being here, and this is back to what we love doing: boondocking. We're the only person out here 
that is in an RV. We wish Dave and Karen were here, but... You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is their place. Yeah. They told us about it, yep. and it's become our place, too. This is yep. like the fifth year we've come here, and um, we just really like it. Yeah. And um, nobody bothers you here. And I know people say, oh, don't be telling people stuff like that. This is the only place we're telling about. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And pretty much every time that we've been here, except for one time, there really hasn't been anybody here. Mm -hmm. So, and it is all BLM land up on the hills around us, the whole the whole area. So, so people come in and run their dogs <laughs> yeah. out here and stuff. The um, locals in Yerrington. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, there's one truck that comes every evening. Yep. Right every about, evening. Just before every, sunset. For the past several years that we've been here, they come, they run their dogs, they go around this little hill behind us, and they mm. come back out. They've got their American flags flying. It's really, it's, yeah. they're really nice. We've talked they're to them nice. before. They're very nice. Um, right now, I don't know if you can see it back up on the hill behind us, but we've got camo dudes up there. Are they there. still there? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, he's yeah. still there way up on the top of the hill. So we say that because when we were at Area 51, <laughs> there were camo dudes watching in us. white trucks up on the hill <laughs> watching. I even have a picture of them with their binoculars looking at us. So. Um, I was just teasing. I sent a picture to Dave and said, hey, we got camo dudes here at the drive-in. <laughs> They're up there on the hill watching us. Maybe that's where you go to watch a free movie. You sit Maybe. up there with your binoculars and watch the movie. That's right. Can't hear anything. Well, you, well, nowadays, but back when this was in, you yeah. had the little speaker that hung on your door. But nowadays at drive-ins, it I'll, still exists. It's a radio channel. I'll put money down. The kids used to go up there on that hill and watch the movie. Or maybe they just went up there on that hill and, you know. <laughs> didn't watch the movie maybe <laughs> who watches a movie at the drive-in anyway <laughs> oh do i say that out loud okay carrying on so tomorrow's a travel day yeah it is <laughs> again another short one we don't have very far to go between here and reno so that makes it nice and i wanted to try to time it on a sunday to get into reno on sunday morning because like any small to medium-sized city reno traffic is really horrendous but we have learned Sundays, it is lighter, especially Sunday morning, so we'll be able to get through there and get up to the uh, North Valleys where we're gonna plop down for most of the summer at uh, your beautiful sister and brother-in-law's house. Yes, they're awesome. We and we're gonna go, so we're gonna go we're see, so lucky. gonna go see how, how the waterfall's doing. Stop doing that. Oh, sorry. Causing dust. Throwing up dust. We're very, very excited mm -hmm. about getting to see family. It's yep. been four months. Yep. So I know there are people out there that have take it's longer in between times that you see family, but that's yeah. hard for me. Yeah. So I mean, it's a lot better than it used to be. I'm your family. You see me every day. Yes, I know. You're my family that I see every day. I want to see family that I don't see every day too. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> We're done. We're done. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is what it's all about. It's about our RV life every day. That's Why? our Saturdays, we tell you about it. And then on mm. Wednesdays, we show you a little bit more. You get kind of a fun, funny video. So there you go. There it is. Deal with it. <laughs> Have a great week, everyone. See ya. See ya. <laughs> you are a funny guy. Evidently.